Hey, honey pots. Guess what time it is? Birch box time. If you want to see what I got in my box, please keep watching. Okay, so this month's birch box, the design is the artwork is very, very abstract. Baby girl really likes it. I think that they let their kid design it, which is pretty interesting. So let's get into the box. In the box, it says, find your happy. After a whirlwind holiday season, carve out some me time with this box of beauty treats. Well, I can definitely agree with you on that. I definitely need some me time. So the first thing that I'm gonna pull out, it looks like it's a matching set from Oribe Gold Goldlust, it's Repair and Restore Shampoo and the Repair and Restore Conditioner. Then the next thing is Radiance with high, Hyaluronic Acid. It's Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer. And the color here is kind of like a rosy gold salmon-y color. So let me see if that's actually the color of the primer. Yes, it is. So this one would actually work very well with my skin tone to give me a little bit of a lift and a boost of shimmer and dewiness. Like you look at that and it's just a little bit of radiance to the skin. I hope that the camera is picking that up for you guys. The next thing is by Laura Geller. I love Laura Geller products. I have one of her um, concealers that I use underneath my eyes and it always makes my eyes look refreshed. And then um, I believe I have a highlighter too that I've used a few times, but I do like her um, products. This is Fortifying Lash Eyelash Primer. Oh, and it's made in Italy. Let's see, what does that look like? Huh, it says it's an eyelash primer. It doesn't say it's a mascara, so I'm real curious to see exactly what it'll end up doing for my, my lashes. And the last thing in the box is from Clark's Botanical. It's their Age Defying Radiance Cream. Now this just has a very pleasant odor. It just smells like a very nice lotion. It's slightly floral, but it's really, really nice. I like the smell of it. It's not something that's overwhelming or anything. Let's try this here. Oh, it feels very cool and moist. I know some people don't like that word, but um, I think I'm gonna really enjoy this particular this particular cream. I'm gonna go ahead and read to you guys what they actually say about these different products. Now, we all know about Smashbox. A full size of this product is $39, and it says, get things glowing in 2018 with this primer made with microfine amber, bronzed pearls, and hyaluronic acid to boost radiance. Apply a pea-sized amount to clean skin. You can wear it alone, or under makeup. Now I showed you guys on my skin how it actually looks alone and it is very nice. You can barely tell that there's anything there. It kind of gives your skin like that rested look, but youthful look. Like, did she have some work done or no? That's what it looks like to me. So I, I, I think I'm gonna enjoy this particular product. The next thing I want to read is the Laura Geller New York Fortifying Eyelash Primer. This product costs $24, okay? $24. And it says, it's prime time for your lashes. This tinted primer, okay, that's it's a tinted primer that adds length and definition to your lashes while strengthening them to prevent breakage. Wear alone or under mascara to enhance its wear. As you guys can see, and as those of you who've watched me for a while, you know, I used to get eyelash extension. I've worn eyelash, eyelash extensions for probably almost five years. And um, my eyelashes just needed a break. They just needed a rest. So I wanna try this out. But I told myself by spring break, if 
my lashes don't look any better then I'm just gonna go back to my eyelash extensions but I just kind of wanted to let them breathe they've always been short they've always been fine they've always been like little sticks so if this is something that can actually make it look like I might have had some lashes then I definitely want to try it out and I will come back and let you guys know how how that worked the next product I want to read is the Clark Botanicals okay a full size of this is a hundred and nineteen dollars wow a full size of this is a hundred and nineteen dollars I needed to repeat myself on that this is definitely a luxury brand and it says like an instant filter to your face this moisturizer evens out tone and smooths texture thanks to the formulas sea buckthorn and tripeptides massage into skin after cleansing i will definitely let you guys know how this does especially since it's 119 dollars now this right here um it doesn't tell you how many ounces that's in here which obviously it doesn't look like it's even a full ounce but probably when you purchase this you, it would probably come in like at least an ounce if not two or three at, at that price um, but I would be interested to see if this really works well then that might be an investment because I do have aging mature skin that might be an investment that I'm very willing to try if it works really well I know how it feels here my skin feels very smooth when I put it on it felt like a nice drink of water it was very cooling um, and I like that. I haven't experienced that feeling. And I don't mean cooling like menthol cooling or peppermint cooling. It just felt like a really, a, just a totally different type of feeling. Very, very cool. Like, like ice was put on my hand. And obviously it wasn't. So the next two products to me are a duo. They are a shampoo and a conditioner. And it says their sizes range from $17, $18 to $154 to $182. Oh my goodness. The conditioner is more expensive than the shampoo. Okay. It better have real gold in here for this price. It, for the shampoo, it says bring damaged strands back to life with this shampoo infused with centuries old healing oils like Cypress Argon and maracuja for intense hydration and frizz fighting benefits lather up then rinse and then conditioner says treat your tresses with this deeply nourishing conditioner made from a blend of healing oils watermelon and lychee it works to reverse damage leaving strands shiny and more manageable okay <sighs> it needs to wash and fold and put away my clothes it needs to fill my car with gas <laughs> and take care of all my grocery shopping for $182. <laughs> now, you guys, come on now. Come on. Who would pay that for a conditioner or a shampoo? I'm going to use it, but I will not be purchasing it. I can tell you that right now because there's just no way... This is $18 and this is $17. And it's only 15 mLs, which if you guys know how many ounces that is, that's half an ounce. Half an ounce of shampoo and half an ounce of conditioner for $17 and $18? No ma'am. No ma'am, I can't I can't do that. I can't. Now, I can spend $119 on my skin though. Okay? But if I'm going to be spending $182, it's going to be on somebody else's hair in the form of a weave or a wig that I make on this channel. I will not be spending and purchasing that product, but I will use it and I'll come back and I'll let you guys know how I felt and how it worked, if it worked. All right, y'all. I hope you guys enjoyed this particular video. Give us a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. Please leave a comment down below about these products. Let me know if you agree about this Oribe shampoo and conditioner. Would you spend $182?
on a shampoo or a conditioner, leave it down in the comments below because I surely would like you to ring in on this. But most importantly, honey pots, stay well and stay beautiful. Bye.